In this video, we share what you need to know about the White Swiss Shepherd. These are the top 10 facts and things to know. First, let's talk about the grooming. These white shepherds are known for their white coat. They are also known because they shed quite often and many owners recommend brushing them two to three times a week, if not daily, to manage the shedding. Bathing them is an infrequent task that you shouldn't have to do very often, as bathing is unhealthy for both their skin and coat. Most owners suggest a washing or a rinsing as needed, but overall, grooming is pretty easy for these dogs. Number nine, what's the difference between the white Swiss Shepherd and the white German Shepherd. There are many German Shepherd mixes, but the white Swiss Shepherd is not one of them. The main question about this breed is what sets it apart from the German Shepherd. Like the GSD, the Swiss Shepherd is alert, protective, and loves to be challenged with plenty of activity. They're also both herding dogs at heart, but what sets them apart is their demeanor, appearance, and breed classification. While the German Shepherd is more outgoing and can be aggressive, the Swiss Shepherd is shy, skittish, and more gentle. That's why you won't see one of these dog breeds used for police or military work. We'll take a moment to pause to remind you to hit that subscribe button for more dog videos. Let's next talk about the average cost of a white Swiss Shepherd. Since the White Swiss Shepherd is prone to a few serious health issues, you will want to be extra picky when shopping around. Hip dysplasia is common, and this is a genetic disease which can be traced back to the parents. Come prepared with medical questions about the puppy's parents. The breeder should be open to any type of discussion to put all worries to rest. After all, this is a precious life we are talking about. The average cost of the White Swiss Shepherd can be anywhere from 1000 to 1500 but again, make sure you're buying from a reputable breeder that can share all the past health issues of the parents. Number seven, this dog sheds a lot. We mentioned that this breed has a white coat and can shed a lot. Sure, it's a beautiful sight to behold, but the beauty comes at a price. That beautiful white hair will end up on your furniture and on your carpet. Heavy shedding can be expected, and we're not talking just twice a year during big seasonal changes. This is a year-round shedder, so you'll have to invest in a heavy-duty vacuum and brush and prepared for the white hairs all around your house. Number six, the White Swiss Shepherd accepts any challenge. This is one of those intelligent breeds that needs training, craves it, and wants it. They love to be challenged, whether it's learning a new command or a new trick, or perfecting an agility on an obstacle course. Mainly though, socialization is key to helping the Swiss Shepherd build confidence while curbing its skittish behavior and the inclination towards herding. Since she is known to be on the sensitive side, it's important to use positive, encouraging reinforcement. A harsh, corrective approach will stress her out. Training done properly with this dog will lead to a happy, healthy dog that will impress you for years. Next, we look at the possible health issues of this breed. As we mentioned before, one of the negatives of this breed is that they do have various health concerns, making it super important that you know the dog that you're getting and you know the dog's parents and the issues that they had. This dog can be a happy, healthy dog for up to 14 years, but they can have various health issues like bloating, degenerative spinal stenosis, and hip, wrist, and foot dysplasia. These are just a few of the things that this dog can run up against. So make sure you do your research 
and make sure you're getting a happy, healthy dog. Number of four, the Swiss Shepherd needs plenty of action. Like we mentioned before, this dog thrives on training, running, and agility. The White Swiss Shepherd is high energy, so plenty of space is needed to move around and easily explore. That's why a fenced in yard is most ideal. Not a tiny apartment in the city, but rather a, a space that they can run and play. Exercise is key for keeping this dog in tip top shape and out of trouble. Opt for long runs, vigorous walks, or playing outside with interactive toys. Number three, this dog is the mellow cousin of the Shepherd family. If you want a breed that has the appearance of the GSD, but is less aggressive and serious, then you'll want to go with the Swiss Shepherd. This dog is more relaxed, timid, and clingy towards its owner, which is good and bad. She does good around children. If left alone too long, separation anxiety will start to set in. This leads to destructive behavior, whether it's chewing belongings or digging up the garden. Still, the White Swiss is well known for high intelligence. While not preferred for police work, she does make an excellent service or therapy dog. With a hurting background, be careful when introducing her to other dogs in the family. She may try to act dominant towards them, as the breed prefers human company over other canines. Number two thing to know, this dog looks magnificent in its white coat. The breed only comes in white or sometimes cream with a thick fur well suited for the cold, not necessarily the heat. The Swiss Shepherd has a graceful stance with low lying hips tapering up to an erect head and pointed ears. The height can be anywhere from 22 to 26 inches and the weight 50 to 80 pounds. The average lifespan of the White Swiss Shepherd is around 12 years. This dog will be unmistakably matched with its perfectly white fur. And number one, the White Swiss Shepherd has some of the same origins as the German Shepherd. The White Swiss Shepherd was touted as a separate breed in 1931 as its powerful physique and toned down personality garnered notice from shepherd enthusiasts. They love the fact that this dog is super intelligent, but less aggressive and motivated than the German Shepherd. It didn't make its debut in the US until the 1970s and has not received breed distinction just yet from the AKC. In fact, it's still rel relatively rare to find them in the States compared to the popularity of them in Europe. We hope you've enjoyed this video learning more about the White Swiss Shepherd. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.